Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you are doing very well. Welcome to our English class. Today we will learn about possessive pronouns and the special verb be. So, during this class time we will cover page 125 and 128 from your journey, which is your small book. So, if you are ready, please open page 125 and before the starting this page, let's make a quick revision about our previous class. Okay, let's talk about singular possessive nouns. What does it mean? A singular possessive noun shows that a person, animal, place or thing has or owns something. So, how can I show a singular possessive noun? For example, backpack is my noun, right? So, I will make it a singular possessive noun. After backpack, I will put an apostrophe and then I can put as. The backpack straps were loose. This straps belongs to what? The backpack. So how can I show it? I can add an apostrophe, then I can add S. Let's check the others. Oliver's backpack was once home to a mouse. This backpack belongs to who? Oliver. So after Oliver, I can add an apostrophe, then S. What about plural sing, uh, possessive nouns what does it mean before this so i can put an apostrophe but if my word finish with s just i need to add an apostrophe what else the other one the children's letters for example in this sentence children is my noun how can i make it a possessive noun children is a plural noun so, it's not finished with S. If it's not finished with S, I need to put an apostrophe, then I need to put S. But sisters, sisters is in another plural noun. But it's finished with S. In this situation, I just need to add an apostrophe. Good job. Okay, right now let's talk about possessive pronoun. What does it mean? So, instead of children's, I can use their. So, if I use their, it means I use possessive pronoun, not possessive noun. I'm using possessive pronoun this time. So, let's check the examples. My bike. So, this bike belongs to who? My bike. So, it's my. So, our books. This books belongs to who? Our. So, it means I need to put our books. But in this way, for example, it says girls jackets. Instead of girls, I can say their jackets if I want to make it possessive pronoun. Let's check which one is possessive uh, pronouns. Her, his, my, our, their. Right? Okay, right now, please open page 125 and let's read the question together. It says, read the sentences below. Underline the possessive pronouns. If the possessive pronoun is not written correctly, write the word correctly on the line. So it means some of them can be correct, but the others cannot be correct. So let's check the first sentence. Lucy, a friend of ours, is traveling with us to Tennessee. Which one is our possessive pronouns? Remember our possessive pronouns again. Her his, my, our, their. So which one is can you see here? Good. Ours, right? If you want, you can underline it. So I just want to show it uh, properly. So I just circle it. Ours. So our is my possessive pronoun. I don't need this apostrophe and S. So in this situation, how can I write it correctly? I can write our friend. Lucy, our friend, is traveling with us to Tennessee. It's enough, right? Okay, let's check second sentence together. Is this his map? His map. This is correct? No. So, in this situation, I need to circle it uh, or I need to underline it. So, how can I write it? Is this his map? I don't need an apostrophe and S. His will be enough. His map. Is this his map? 
no or yes. Okay, let's check third sentence. My favorite part of a road trip is the snacks. Which one is my possessive pronouns? Good, my, my favorite part. So, this is already written correctly. I don't need to change it. What about fourth sentence? That is her backpack. Her is my possessive pronoun, right? Do I need to add S? No, I don't need to add it. So, her backpack will be the correct one. Right? Okay, let's check five. Is this your sandwich? Which one is my possessive pronoun? Yours. Good. So, do I need to add S? No, I don't need to add it. So, it will be just, is this your sandwich? Good. For pronouns, I don't need to put an apostrophe and then S. For possessive pronouns. So, let's check the others. It say, write a sentence for each of the possessive pronouns. First one is, they are, the second one is our, and the third one is my. So, you, if you want, you can construct your sentence by yourself and then you can check. Let's check what I write. I like to play with their toys. This toys belongs to who? The, them. So, I can say their toys. What about our? We went to visit our grandparents. So, they are my grandfathers, our grandparents. So, in this situation, I can say we went to visit our grandparents. What about last sentence? I always finish my homework. This homework for me. So, I can say I always finish my homework. Good. Now, let's check page 128 together. So, we say be is my special verb. Why? Because be generally change in accordance with tense. In this part, we will see present tense and past tense. So, how can I differentiate them? For example, the verbs am, is, are, was, were, all of them, the forms of the verb be. So, they do not show action. Let's check. The trip is fun. The trip was fun. What is the difference? Aim is R. I use aim is R for present tense by checking the subject. And I use was were in past tense by checking the subject again. So don't forget aim is R for present tense. And if you see was were, it means it's in past tense. Okay, now let's check your exercise part. It say write the verb, write present or past for each verb. So let's check. The boys are tired of traveling. Which one is my verb? Write are, right? So are will be my verb. Then I need to check this is present or past tense. Let's turn back. A is are for present tense, was were for past tense. So, I saw R. R represent which tense? Present. So, the boys are tired of traveling. If there is R, in this situation, it will be in present tense. What about second sentence? We were away for one week. So, which one is my verb? Were. So, were represent which tense? Present or past? Remember, aim is R for present tense, was were for past tense. So, in this situation, we were away for one week will be past tense because were is here. Were. What about last sentence? I am ready to go on another trip. Which one is my verb? Good. Aim. Aim is my verb. So, aim which uh, represent which tense present or past tense remember again aim is r for present tense was were for past tense what do you see here aim so 
if you see a, it represents present tense, right? Good job. Okay, let's check the other part. It say combine two short sentences by moving one predicate to make one longer sentence with two predicates. Write the new sentence on the line. So in this situation, I just need to use one verb. So how can I connect? How can I combine two sentences with each other? I can use and, right? So I can use and, so I can make them, I can combine two sentences. Let's check four sentences. It say, father is a good driver. Father is tired of driving. How can I combine them by using and? So I can write the same part. Father is. Father is common part, right? After is, everything's changed. A good driver, tired of driving. So father is a good driver. The first sentence is same. Then I put and to combine two sentences. And then I wrote the uncommon part. I know father is also in the first sentence which which part is the uncommon part so tired of driving father is a good driver the first sentence is finished then i put and then tired of driving father is a good driver and tired of driving so let's check fifth sentence it say we are out of the car we are ready to relax so which part is the common part between two sentences we are right we are so i write the first sentence directly we are out of the car and which one is the uncommon part ready to relax good we are out of the car and ready to relax good job what about six sentence six sentence is kind of different actually so let's check Mother and George are happy. Mother and George are in the house. Which part is the common part? Good. Mother and George are. After are, I put happy in the first sentence. After I, I put in the house in the second sentence. It means the first sentence will be the same. Mother and George are happy. So after happy, you can say in the house. Or if you want, you can combine like this. Mother and George are happy and in the house. So I put mother and George are happy in the house. Where they are happy in the house. So good job. Thank you so much for listening. Take care of you.